Marcela Uliano da Silva is a genome biologist from Brazil dedicated to researching golden mussels. And no, not that type of golden mussel, but this type of golden mussel, the one that is, according to Dr. Uliano Silva in an interview with TED, decreasing biodiversity and homogenizing the environment through its filter feeding behaviors and rapid rate of reproduction. But despite her current dedication to studying this species, Dr. Uliana Silva has not always been interested in biology. As a child, she was more interested in social sciences. It was not until her biology-fascinated friend encouraged her to watch the Discovery Channel that Uliana Silva's interest in biology began to grow. After attending a private school in her childhood to ensure a quality education, she decided to study cell and molecular biology at the Federal University of Santa Cariana, and later went on to earn her BS, MS, and PhD at public universities in Brazil. Unfortunately, according to an article on Medium.com, Uliana Silva's family was always tight on money, so they had to be careful with their expenses when sending her to private school as a child, and Uliana Silva earned scholarships to fund the rest of her education in universities. Throughout this schooling, a strange interest Dr. Uliana Silva has held is her passion for punk rock music that she has had since she was a young girl. Marcela Uliano da Silva works in a fi field of genome biology, dedicating much of her focus to studying the genomes of species with significant environmental impact and determining how altering their genomes can mitigate that impact. For years, she has been working to develop a complete genome sequence of the golden mussel to determine ways to genetically modify the species to have a less harmful environmental impact. On September 30th, 2022, she published a a journal on the complete genome assembly for the golden mussel, but she's still in the process of questioning how to properly use the genome of the species to target its negative effects. This paper is entitled A High Quality Chromosome Level Genome Assembly for the Golden Mussel, and it outlines the entire genome for the golden mussel, something that has never been completed before. This discovery holds high significance as it will allow for much thorough, more thorough research to be done on the species therefore allowing for solutions to be created to solve the environmental issue this invasive species is creating. To determine this genome assembly, Uliana Silva's team first collected samples of the golden mussel from the Takari River in Brazil, removed the gill tissue, preserved the tissue in dry ice, and sent it to the United Kingdom to be sequenced. There, the tissue was pulverized in a covariance cryoprep automated dry pulverizer until it was a fine powder. After the DNA from a specific female golden mussel was extracted, and using special technology, sequencing libraries were created. From there, the gathered information was taken through scaffolding and curation to determine the complete genome analysis. Here is a chart from the paper showing the 15 haploid chromosomes of the golden mussel. The chromosomes are diagrammed according to size and also show the gene density for each number. In the past, Dr. Uliana Silva has published papers on both determining the complete mitochondrial genome of the golden mussel, as well as in 2017 published one on strategies of how to sequence the entire genome for the species. Since then, she has worked to finally complete the sequencing of the genome, but this does not mean her work is done. From here, Uliana Silva hopes to study this genome to determine the best way to genetically modify the species to target its invasive nature with the goal of reversing the negative impact it has held on the river systems of South America. What I admire most about Marcela Uliana da Silva is her dedication to an area that so little is known about in the name of bettering the environment. Although there are many other more common areas of study to pursue, Uliana Silva has dedicated her time to one that is essentially nothing is known about before she began studying it. And now she has come so far as to find the complete genome analysis for the species, which I find incredibly admirable. I am also very passionate about taking manners to help our environment, and I identify with her passion to also assist in this manner.